Andy, good to see you, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you guys? Yeah, good. Not much to live up to there, buddy. Future yeah, leader, uh, I've had rising two, star. Two features on the uh, on the show, and both the introductions have been quite amazing. Pretty though. spectacular, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, no, they're not too bad. Well, welcome. I mean, it's lovely to meet you face-to-face. We got to speak on the phone last time. And look, you were a force on the field, but you're a young-looking man in the flesh. Are you still getting ID'd everywhere you go? <laughs> yeah, I do a fair bit. Um, walking around with some older boys, and, and we go into you know a club or or a bar or something, and I always get id So the, the older boys think it's pretty funny, but yeah, no, I try and, and shave and, and try and look a bit young. So yeah, some people mistake me for, you know, 17, 16. So. How old are you, buddy? Uh, just turned 19. Just turned 19. Okay. And it, of course, it feels so right that you're here because uh, your former housemate, Lockie Neal, was was our man uh, for so many years and he's doing very well at Brisbane now. Yeah, yeah. He's done really well in the first two JLT games and... I remember last year, yeah, being in the car with him and he would call up here and, and have some interviews. So, yeah, it's pretty cool that I'm here now. It's perfect. Mate, yeah. don't talk about Lockie. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mate, it is good to see you here. Now, I know you live with uh, Hugh Dixon and Adam Chira, a couple of young guys in the squad with you. With, with yourself and all of the talk when Adam and yourself got uh, drafted to the Fremantle Dockers, is there a healthy respect but also a bit of competition between you two? Yeah, definitely. Uh in under-18s, Adam and I played against each other for school and TAC Cup and then played together uh, for Victoria. Yeah. Um, and then when we got drafted, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, we've always been, you know, trying to keep up with each other in skills and running and, and all aspects of the game. And I think it's, yeah, been healthy competition and, yeah. and we've both gotten better from it. Okay. So round one kicking off this weekend. What's on your mind for game one that maybe isn't there for other games of the season? Is there a specific kind of nerves or something around game one? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of nerves going into round one. Um, you really want to play well and you'd love to get a win for the team. Um, and there's a lot of media surrounding the Freo Dockers at the moment. So yeah, we'd really love to get a win and, and I'd love to just cement my spot in the team and have a really good game. So for me, that's something like tackles, chasing, stuff like that, just to cement my spot in the midfield. I yeah. can imagine, you know, with the in the preseason, the media are more interested in the off-field stuff, and we won't go into that. But it must be a, quite a relief to know that come Sunday, 3.20, it's football mm. and it's about the actual game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, since getting injured last year and having a bit of an extended off-season, I've been waiting for this day for a while. Yeah. Um, and there's been little milestones in the lead up to this, JLT, um, my first scratch match, but now it's, you know, round one. So just can't wait to get out on Sunday and, and have a good game. Absolutely, hopefully. mate. Can't wait. Uh, now, I, I will ask a question about the off-field stuff because I'm, in all due respect, I've got clinical curiosity. Jesse back on the track was good to see. Yeah, so good to see. Jesse um, Hogan. Yeah, he's back and he's training um, and he's got a smile on his face. So, yeah, the club and the players are just trying to get around him and, and make him feel at home. So. Yep. Yeah, it was really good to see him back on the park. And are you okay? Like, obviously, we know about what happened last year, but you, within your body and your mind, are you, are you ready to get back into it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been doing a fair bit of work in the off-season, um, mentally and physically, to mm-hmm. recover. Yep. Um, and now I feel great. I've got my mouth guard in. And I honestly have never <laughs> even haven't thought about it out on the field. Um, yeah, haven't thought a single bit about it going as hard as I did last year and good. maybe even harder. Yeah, well, that's great. Good, especially good, good. since, you know, with all the media and everything that's surrounded it, it's awesome that you've put that work in. And as you say, mentally, that was so much a component of it. And it's wonderful that you're feeling so great to go back this season. Yeah, thank you. Have another crack, mate. And I've got to say, with uh, so many, there's been such a big clean out in the club the last few years. Every year, you young guys, you're sort of, sort of clamouring for the lower jumpers. So you're jumper eight? I am jumper number oh, eight. But a few blokes have changed this year as well. Yeah, yeah. A lot of blokes change their numbers every year. I yeah. remember... I think because I was drafted a little bit before Adam, I was supposed to get number five. But right. uh, funny story, he played as number five as a junior. So it was a bit awkward. He messaged me and called me and said, oh, do you mind if I have number five and you oh, can okay. get number eight? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's interesting like that. A lot of players like to move down. But yeah, I'm next to Fifey and Brad Hill. So it's pretty That'll good. That'll do. Yeah, well, good company. Between jumping yeah. number two and a haircut, I had no idea who uh, Griffin Logue was. What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Uh, in the, he liked to keep his hair long in the summer and then chop it off for the start of the season. So it's interesting, but I think it looks really good on him. Oh, yeah. the commentating's going to be great. No one's going to know who, who is who, <laughs> yeah. what they're wearing. It's the start of the year for the, <laughs> yeah. the commentators. Hey, uh, Andy Brashell, good to have you on board, mate, and good to have you part of the team in the big breakfast. Thanks very much, guys. 